It's Kiana. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I look crazy because, well, I am crazy. No, I'm just kidding. I just look crazy. It's Tuesday. Oh my god. Don't hiss at her. There's a whole lot going on in my house right now. <laughs> Come on. This is my niece, Stormy Sky. And there are some other animals um, that are renting my room. <laughs> They're not here permanently. But anyway, <sighs> life is life. -ing. My last video, if you didn't see it, go watch it. I just kind of talked about how I was having some issues with my car and life was lifing. So I kind of have a little bit of an update for you about my car. So meet me at my car and I'll give you the update at my car. Okay, let's go. Great. We made it. So, oh my gosh. I, before we get into the update about my car, <laughs> let me tell you how fat I am. It was Taco Tuesday. Me and my mom went to this little restaurant that we've been wanting to try. It's like a little, like, I don't want to say hole in the wall. It's like just a little, tiny little place. It's like in the middle of a neighborhood. It was so good. But I had three tacos, mozzarella sticks, <laughs> and nachos. And I feel disgusting. I don't know what possessed me to eat like that. I... Luckily, I'm still under my warranty for my car, so it's getting picked up tomorrow, getting towed to this service place. I don't know what I, why I just said it like that. Say they'll fix it, and then in the meantime, they're gonna give me a loaner. I'm so scared. I don't know what the heck I'm about to get. If I'm gonna get like some minivan, <laughs> or if I'm gonna get like some little dinky car. Usually when you get a rental car, or not like a rental car, but like a loaner, when you are getting service on your car, they try to give you something that's similar your car so we'll see what happens um i'm hoping it's a bronco but i know it's not gonna be <laughs> but yeah so that's the update so it's getting fixed this week thank you god that i'm still under my warranty for some reason i thought it was up i think it's actually up this month um it's like hotter than the devil's freaking breath in here it felt good when i first got in here because my mom always has the house on freaking titanic water but yeah, so that's the update and I have never owned an SUV before. I've always had a sedan. And driving my mom's car after being in my car for so many months, I felt like I was being swallowed. And I was in like some type of horror movie where I was being crunched by a car. Like, <laughs> it felt so tiny. But yeah. So it's getting fixed. It'll be fixed soon. And I'll have my baby back. I love my car so freaking much. It's just a little things in life. Like, I love my car and I've been trying to really take better care of this car than I did my other car um especially like interiorly because my other car was a disaster on the inside <laughs> kind of like how my life normally is but I've kept it clean it's clean in here I love I just love it smells good in here my other car smelled like feet and barbecue sauce <laughs> so yeah I'm trying to keep it clean so um I don't really have anything else to say so far but um i will come back when i have the loner and all that other stuff that's going on i just want to open the video so welcome welcome back or welcome to whatever brings you here i hope you enjoy and i hope you like and i hope you subscribe and you can comment below what your favorite part about this video was or what you would like to see me do on my channel because i'm taking suggestions i should be in bed but Baking cookies instead. <laughs> Peanut butter cookie. <laughs> Just need a sweet treat. Can't sleep without it. Does it have some peanut butter cookie dough? And I put some chocolate chips in it. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. I don't be need I don't need to be eating anything else, but I need a sweet treat. We're out of baggies, so I guess I'm gonna have to wrap this cookie dough in foil. I'll kind of do like a mini night routine is get everything ready and put it where I know I can just grab it in the morning on my way to work so I got me gloves I had to go get gloves because I need them for work a little bag I keep in my car it has masks I actually need more masks masks gloves hand sanitizer but my packaging is already in the car gloves in there okay 
and I don't typically need my wallet because I don't spend any money while I'm out for the day, but you just, so that's filled. Now I'm going to put some water in this. I usually put it in the fridge, grab it in the morning. on the table right here where I can grab everything my purse that has my stuff in it and then where did I put the car keys car keys sunglasses airpods wallet it's stacked right here because I go out that door in the morning okay that's it then I just have to grab my stay in the morning but I'm gonna eat me one of these cookies and I'm going to bed. And that's all she wrote. Remember the other video where I said life is lifing? <laughs> but I was trying to say positive. I swear the devil is a lie. I came home today to cat litter all over my bed, all over, it's literally all over my room. Like everywhere you see my room, you see cat litter. And it, I don't know if anybody really truly, I can't verbalize it enough or make it known enough how much I absolutely hate cat litter. I will never ever in my life own a cat. If I meet somebody and date them and they want a cat, well, it's over. It's literally a deal breaker <laughs> because no. My mom who has cats and it wasn't her cats that did it and I'm not blaming the cats. I'm really not blaming the people's cats it is on the situation because it's kind of a, just a complicated situation. It's not their fault. I just absolutely hate cat litter and I'm fuming. I literally could literally commit a crime right now. I vacuum in my carpet. I feel like I can't get out of my carpet. I just got off of work. I was supposed to go out, have fun with my friends, you know, hot girl summer. Well, no, because we were supposed to leave immediately when I got home. So I worked all day and I couldn't go. I told them to go without me because I have to literally wash all my bedding because there was litter all in my bedding. I was in the middle of getting dressed. I'm literally in my bra and my underwear. Like these are my pants I was about to put on. I don't want to put the blame on anybody, but I'm very irritated. And my hate for litter is just really strong and deep seated. Like I get really, really, really fuming when litter touches me. That I just washed my bedding, all my sheets, all my pillowcases, all of that. And I have a duvet cover and I hate doing that. And making my bed is the devil on steroids. Like my bed, the way it is on my wall, and I have this thick little mattress thing on it. Oh, it's the devil. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna clean it. I'm going to maybe meet my mom. My mom was, we, me, my mom, and some of my friends were gonna go to this place, have dinner, listen to the music. And I was gonna take my laptop and do some of the school stuff I have to do. It's not homework, it's like just paperwork I have to fill out. And all of that got ruined for me. I also really want to show you guys my rental car that I got because I got it. I just haven't had a chance to film it. I picked up a bunch of extra hours because I'm trying to move out. So I'm trying to save money. <sighs> I gotta go. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm irritated and I'm probably being annoying. So I'm really sorry. I'm going to clean up as much as I can and then try to meet my mom up at the place we were supposed to go. <laughs> I've made the executive decision that I'm just not going anywhere tonight like I just feel like I can't even function it might seem dramatic perceive it however you want to perceive it but for me I literally have like an actual phobia of cat litter anyway yeah I'm just not gonna go anywhere um I've put some clothes on I'm ho I'm seeing my mom will bring me some food home from where she went my stuff is in the washer and also we have no laundry detergent when I tell you we've been broke around here in this house lately like broke I have like some people say they're broke and they still have like thousands of dollars in the bank. Broke to them is like not having a million dollars. Broke, like broke. Like I have like eight dollars in my bank account. We have no laundry detergent. So I have to use Dawn dish soap to wash my bedding because it needed to be washed ASAP. So this is my, actually, I'm not gonna show you the outside of the loaner car i don't really like to show the outside of the cars i'm driving like the inside's fine but i only really like to show the outside 
because like I guess a safety thing but I feel like once you start vlogging and put stuff on the internet you kind of really give up the right to privacy and safety low-key kind of sort of so I'm gonna go outside look at the baby kitty oh you probably can't see him he's right there under the flag cats are cute but no thank you so I'm gonna go give you guys a little tour of the car and yeah okay so first of all the interior is dope start with that this is the steering wheel it's just really nice and then it has apple car i don't really feel like turning on the car and all that but this has apple car i can even see the map on this thing i'm pretty sure everybody's seen a car like this i've seen cars like this but i've never driven one and so it's really dope it just i wish you could smell it it has that basic new car smell it's super nice i don't really like the outside or the build of this car or the kind of car it is but the inside is really giving i love driving it but i'm glad it's not my permanent car although i wish i had this in my car because it's really dope but yeah um it took me a while to figure out all of this because i just have i've always had like an older car literally the car i have now my ford focus focus my ford escape is a 2017 that's the newest year of a car i've ever driven i always have driven older cars just because they're cheaper and i'm broke so this is really nice this is a 2023 it's really nice. It has a sunroof and all that. It's supposed to be equivalent to my car, but it most definitely isn't. Like, this is really way more compact than my car. It's probably just whatever they had on the lot. I mean, I'm blessed that I don't have to pay anything. I can drive this for free other than the gas. But, yeah. So, that's this car. It's nothing. It's really nothing super exciting. But I said I was going to show it. So, yeah. This is my car until further notice. <laughs> hamburger or cheeseburger oh, oh it's friday i just got off work my hair looks so crazy <laughs> i just got off work and every friday we do game night at my house so tonight's game night i only had one client today so i'm off for the day love making home homeburger <laughs> homemade cheeseburgers so that's what i'm going to make now i'm a little what's that thing called cutting tray a little bit of onion powder, garlic salt, seasoning salt, pepper, that's it. And then I'm going to put a slice of American ugh, cheddar cheese, because I hate American cheese, pickles and ketchup, maybe mayonnaise, I don't know. Sometimes I like mayonnaise and sometimes I don't. But anyway, so I'm going to, I don't, I think I want to take all of this and form one big burger, because the other day I made a burger. And it was just really small, like they were just really tiny. And I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna make my lunch. And then after that, I really don't have anything to do until later tonight, probably clean up the house a little bit, see who all is coming and then go from there. The object I'm using as a tripod right now is unhinged. <laughs> I'm gonna end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm going to say this at the end of all my vlogs. I promise I have some more structured videos coming up that aren't just vlogs. Per a time to film and edit and all that junk because I do have a full-time job and I am trying to go back to school. So life be life in. But stay tuned. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching if you watched. I appreciate you.